They don't have a chair for Skeletor. <laughs> All right, hey, quickly, 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 before you guys run out of here. If you guys are super fans of Godzilla, Godzilla uh, on the Toho website, Godzilla has officially announced that in 2023, in November, they will be releasing another Godzilla movie. Now, we have not seen a Godzilla movie released from Japan since uh, Shin Godzilla, which was met with mixed reviews, but at the same time, I liked it. It was a different take. You said I what? I liked it, too. Oh, you saw Shin Godzilla? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Like so, um, yeah, I like the different take on it. So this one is being um, directed by the guy that do Lupin the Third, and he's also done uh, Parasite, which is like an anime uh, movie, and he's done a lot of other stuff. But, um, yeah, so next year we're getting that. And then also Warner Brothers is still working on the Godzilla and Kong, Godzilla versus Kong sequel, which will have those two fighting off against some monster in the middle of the earth, but I don't understand how you're going to call it Godzilla versus Kong if they're teaming up, but whatever, like, you know, that's a question for another day. But if you guys are into the Godzilla movies, that is definitely big news. They announced this on G day, which is Godzilla day, which was last Thursday. Uh, I believe it was the third. So that was, that's the new news that we have on Godzilla. I freaking love Godzilla. Godzilla's dope as hell. So, fan, yeah. I'm a huge fan, huge fan. Like, uh, I don't have any. I got a Mega Godzilla poster over there. Here we go. He's getting all the toys out now. No, nah, I, I do. I have like I have the I have a bunch of Godzillas. Like here this whole go. shelf right here, that shelf on the bottom left is all Godzilla stuff, but you obviously can't see it. Oh, Carl says that. What do we think about the Camp Crystal Lake series? Oh, that was um the Friday the thirteenth. We that uh, you know yeah what? Friday Friday the thirteenth series. I think it's. Is it being produced by A24 or something? A24, I think, is doing this. Yeah, that is really interesting. You know, that that could be a either a real good idea or terrible. I would say good. I mean, like, they're really good at the moment. Whether you like half their films or not, they're different. And to take Jason, well, I think I'm assuming Jason's going to be in it. I don't know. No, nah, I think... I wonder if it's going to follow Pamela Voorhees after Jason's death. I think that would either that or we're going to follow J mutant Jason getting punked at summer camp that leads up to his death. Either way, it'll be fun. I do think that this is something I'd like to have talked about more. But um, I, I actually think this is I'm. it's interesting because, like, if you hear there's a new Jason film coming out, great. But when you hear that A24 is taking this on, which is really, really strange for them to feels like something that. That's the kind of genre they don't go near. It just feels different for them. And to bring this on, it could be real interesting. And I'm glad you brought it up. Was that you, Philip, for bringing up? Carl. Yeah. Sorry, Carl. This fool, Irish Jim says, a uh, question for me, Godzilla versus Jason. Of course it's Godzilla. Godzilla's going to stop Jason. that guy. Jason? J yeah, Jason versus Godzilla. Like Jason Voorhees versus Godzilla. Sold, Sold on Godzilla, if that's the case. I love Parasite. I heard that show is good, though. It is interesting, yes. Pamela being a fucking unit, that woman was strong, uh, strong as fuck during the first film. Like she bodied people. <laughs> yeah, dude. Pam Pamela didn't play. I'm looking forward to Sly Stallone's new series on the Paramount Plus. How yes, about you guys? Me too. Definitely, it's one of my must. That's a part of that? Warlock. Is it? No, not Warlock. Willow. This is probably one of my most anticipated shows to watch because I'm a huge Stallone fan. And to see him playing a gangster just out of prison after 20 years, and he's going to this place called Tulsa, and he's going to run it. It's, and it's written by the Tulsa, like Tulsa, like Tulsa, like like um, where yeah, the riot, where the race riots happen. Like, well, I I mean, this is a location in the U.S., so I'm not really sure about Tulsa. All I know is that Stallone, he is right, Tulsa, like I'm like where you mean, like where like the. The riot, like the massacre happened, like you I'm know, the Black sure. Wall Street massacre, like that. I'm not sure. All I know is a place called Tulsa. I get the impression it's a quiet kind of an area. I don't uh, know. I hope he's picking a different Tulsa. I hope it's a different one because that'll be kind of dark, but all right. But he's out of prison after 20 years of being the mafia. He was high up, he's one of the bosses. And he's just come out. It's a TV show on Paramount. And he expects big things when he comes out, but he's sent to this small town, Tulsa. It's like they've knocked him out of the way and they pushed him to the side. And, um, well, he's going to start taking over and running things there. It's written by the Sopranos, and I still think to this day, Sopranos is the number one greatest TV show of all time. And it's written by them, 
and i'm so looking forward to it and and i want to see stallone do something outside of rocky and action a bit more just to see how he can do he's the right age for it he looks the part the trailer looks really good i'm looking forward to it thanks for bringing that up we'll see more of it when it comes out soon i think any more questions tulsa king tulsa king the brad tulsa says king. i heard john carpenter tease that this may not be the end of halloween do you think he no. would ever pick another stab no. at something uh yeah. I think I think John Carpenter should take on something else. I think if he's going to make something, it should be something brand new. I don't think he should mess with like how, any of his older projects. I think he should just do something new. Halloween is is it should be will be rebooted in a few years from now. You of know course, this, right? But I think it's he needs to put his name to something different and new and original now because he is good at original stuff. And I mean, sometimes it's a miss, but. I'm just saying is yeah, he should just stay away. He made it, he created it. But if he goes back Jim. anyway, so you know Jim pulled it up. New York Mafia Capo Dwight uh Man Freddy is released from prison after 25 years and exiled to by his boss to set up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Realized that his my family may my family may not have been his best interest in mind. Yeah, so that's where Black Wall Street happened. That's fucked up. Okay. If you don't know about Black Wall Street, is a they were supposed to make a movie about it. I don't know if they ever did it though. So what happened was that um, there was like this huge, they call it a race riot, but it wasn't a race riot. It was a massacre. Uh, the white citizens of the town like killed a bunch of people, killed all the, a bunch of the black residents and burned everything to the ground. This was a very prominent African-American historical neighborhood that was making tons of freaking money and they burned it down to nothing. Uh, it's, it's a ridiculous story. That's a crazy story when you look into it, but that's a cop. That's something for a different day though. Okay. Well, another escape movie. Uh, John Carpenter should do another escape from, oh, like yeah. escape from New York. In New York, escape from LA. They're, they're actually, I actually really like them both. I actually even like the, the, the escape from LA, which is pretty much a carbon copy of New York, but still really enjoyed it. It looks terrible. Even the CGI and the effects for its day was bad, but I still like it. And you got Russell Crowe, Russell Crowe, Kurt Russell playing the um, snake Pliskin. So yeah. That I'd love to see. You know what? That would be something he, sh if he's going to do something to do with something he's already created, I wouldn't mind seeing another one of those. We told the massacre is a part of the plot for the Watchmen TV show. I didn't know that. I wanted to watch the, I wanted to do that. What's that? Um, well, Jim was telling me that, uh, the, the Watchmen TV show, I wanted to watch, I never got around to it. I, I love the film. I thought the film, yeah, was, the great. film was amazing. Look at Jeepers Creepers, just why. <laughs> All right, so look, Jeepers Creepers, that dude that got Jeepers Creepers was an idiot. Like, when I saw, when I sat in the movie theater and this dumb motherfucker walked up in front of the screen and said, hey, just to let you know, we only had X amount of time to film this movie and we had COVID restrictions, so we did what we could. I was like, oh my God, this is about to be a piece of shit. I was like, this is about to be fucking terrible. And I'm sitting there thinking like, that doesn't mean anything because you literally had, you announced this movie X amount of time ago. You had so much time to reshoot it. COVID restrictions were like, were like, lowered so it's no reason why this movie should look like that but i will say this and i'll say this confidently i want to petition for damien leone who who you don't know if you don't know who that is as a director or terrifier for him to get the rights of jeepers creepers i think that'll make sure that everything is on point damien leone for the director of jeepers creepers give that man the rights to that character let's yeah. go we didn't like the last jeepers creepers <laughs> yeah i loved it you know that cgi throw <clears throat> yeah that was, that was hilarious deep. but yeah but um any more before we go nah that's, it looks about it well look it was a great episode i'm glad that you guys came and joined us um next sunday make sure you guys all pull up and then make yeah, sure you guys bring a friend do that please join us next week and if you guys like what we're doing we will do start doing more but once we start building up a community it takes time and believe me this is it's tougher than you think to arrange a show, to to figure out what we're going to say, how we're going to say it. it. It just takes effort. We spend all week. It's, it's it's a lot. And and we would do more. But we just need to build a community and we'll go again next Sunday and see how we go. But yeah, I'm, guys, I'm, make sure. Look, I know Delboy already said it, but please make sure that you guys support both the channels. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribe to his channel if you haven't. 
Uh, make sure you guys pull up back next week. We're going to start doing the same time next week, same time. So make sure that you guys pull up and just hang out with us. We, we love having these chat. We love interacting with people. We And then make sure that you guys invite people. Like, I know that everybody in here loves movies. I know you know somebody else that loves movies. Invite them. Tell them to come on through. You know, bring them with you. And if, if you have any ideas for subjects and topics, let us know in the comments and we'll consider putting that as a subject next week. You know, like um, oh. is it Carl who just said about um, Friday the 13th, that would have been a good subject tonight. Oh, well. uh, Giselle. My wife asks if you ever bought your Ariel Wise purse. What? My wife asks Giselle if she ever bought her Ariel Wise shirt. She knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because on my horror haul, my wife showed off that she got this really cool purse from this guy that he mixes Disney characters with horror characters. And he mixed Ariel from The Little Mermaid and he mixed it with Pennywise. So he created this character called Ariel Wise. And right. Giselle was super interested in getting that purse, or she said it looked really sick. So my wife was asking if she ever got it. Then what? What? What purse have you got? Oh, I got a, I got a bunch, bro. I got a whole closet with purses in it. You want to come see? Yeah, I'm on the way. <laughs> hey, what's the weather like over there? Uh, this room is hot, but it's starting to cool down. I need to open up a door. I have, to, I have I the mean, doors and windows closed because, like, I don't want the noise from the traffic to come into the house because my mic picks up all that. I mean, you guys, you, what was the temperature hot outside? Could you wear a t-shirt? No, it's like, it's 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 cool. Like, the weather's cooling down. It's like 70s or something. Well, we're in the UK, and I got up this morning, and I opened the windows, and all the leaves are brown, and the sky was gray. And California dreaming. Oh, my God. Did you see what I did there? See what that? You were in California. I was Hopefully, this man could come to California next year. I'll for the, the next as well, by the way. So, you know, just hit me with it and I'll do you one. But hey, yeah. so look, guys, if Del Boy comes to California next year for Monster Palooza, maybe it'll be possible for this man to like live stream or something. We'll figure it out. Hopefully, we get enough stuff so yeah. we can live stream it while um, we're there. Is Neve Campbell? He didn't give my number, and I'm hoping she's there so I can give it to her personally. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, right. anyway, so, look. don't answer the question. She said, I did not. But there's a whole collection, uh, and they are all amazing. So I'll, I will pass that message on to my wife. Well, again, thank you all for joining us and the support and the questions. We had a really enjoyable show. The breaking news this week wasn't massive, but you know what? It's still something. Once the break, you guys have fun. But I think that's all we have to say. Unless there's any more questions. I'd like to thank you again, everyone, for joining. You are all great, and I love you all. And please subscribe. Now. Iris Jim says, do you want to share a flight? Uh, oh, hey, Jim. Did you, hey, Jim, did you ever get your autograph? Have you got it yet? Like, is it close? Is it in your country yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if you guys don't know, I, I, I'm I'm the man. Jim, Jim, Iris Jim will tell you he owes me, like, forever. What, but anyway. Um, what happened to um, Tom Atkins? Oh, dude. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I didn't get the call. I see who I'm you. Sorry. Hey, look, man, Tom, yeah. I know I that if Tom Atkins like, was outside by himself. I think you like the Irish people more than yeah, me. But check this out, though. Tom Atkins was outside by himself, and I low key wanted to be like, I want to just walk up and talk to him, but like, I felt like he just was like he wanted to get the fuck away from people. Like that's what it felt like. He just wanted to get away from people. Like he was literally sitting there, like looking up, going, <sighs> like he was just like all these fucking people. Because that look, that convention was packed i mean it was it was ass to ass packed it was it was we were we were literally like ass to ass like it was it was crazy especially on saturday uh uh at, he said atkins was probably looking for some hot babes tom atkins think he's slick tom atkins is a fucking flirt well <laughs> he think he's slick but anyway anyway look I'm gonna we're gonna talk, we'll talk all day if we wanted to, but you know what? We're gonna be here next week at this exact same time. Hit the notification bell and you'll be let know. And but for me and Davey, we'll see you next time. And don't forget, you are now exiting our universe. Goodbye. The masters of the universe. The masters of the <laughs> Some See you all soon, you royal boobs. I can't wait! <laughs>